Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. Today I am super excited to finally be playing with these super cute, colorful, and very fun looking Sunus PMP puzzles. So Sunus very kindly sent these to me to try out, so thank you so much for that. And if you're interested, I'll also link uh, to my previous Sunus PMP puzzle video in the cards up here, and I'll try and remember to pop it in the description box below as well. So just in case you haven't heard of PMP before, I'll just give a quick rundown. So PMP stands for pick and pre-order. And throughout the year, Sunus uh, runs multiple pick and pre-order online events. And then during each event, there'll be a number of different artworks available to pre-order or essentially vote for. You'll get a limited time period in which that can be done. And then at the end of the event, the designs that received enough votes or pre-orders get turned into awesome puzzles like these. So these two puzzles are actually from the September uh, 2022 PMP event, which was the last one. Um, and uh, once they're approved to be made into puzzles, it does take a little bit of time for manufacturing and shipping and all that sort of thing. So I think these arrived around November sometime. I am a little bit behind in posting uh, these, so I apologize, but I am excited to finally be getting stuck into them. So the PMP puzzles and events also place a really strong focus on artists and their artwork. So the events uh, give artists more exposure and give them a way to share their artworks with maybe a larger audience than they normally would. And then hopefully, if their artworks receive enough pre-orders or votes, uh, they'll have their artwork turn into a really fun and unique collectible piece of art in the form of a puzzle. And with PMP, there's also a really strong focus on sustainability. So Sunus has worked really hard to create puzzles that uh, are completely plastic free. So even the outer packaging is recyclable. Um, it's recyclable cardboard. So there's no sticky tape or anything like that and no shrink wrap. So I think that's really impressive. And Sunus also encourages us as puzzlers to try and give our puzzles uh, you know, a lot of longevity and have a really long lifespan. So you know, maybe we can do that by uh, doing our puzzles over and over again or displaying them on the wall as artworks once we're done, maybe gifting them to someone else, reselling them, swapping them, uh, turning it into a traveling puzzle or maybe even donating them. I also have some very exciting news. As you're watching this, over on the Sunus Instagram account, there's been an announcement about the next uh, PMP event. So the next PMP event will be taking place from the 26th to the 31st of January. I believe it starts and ends at 12 p.m. P uh, EST. Um, so definitely go check out the Instagram account and also the website and sign up for the mailing list while you're there so you can uh, you know, keep up to date with all the announcements, especially about the next event. Um, I'll be sure to put all the details for that in the description box below. So I think it's time we had a close look at these two very fun and colorful puzzles. I'm gonna scoot over so we've got a bit of space for some images. And yeah, let's look at these in a bit more detail. So let's take a look at the first puzzle. So this one is called Big Restaurant and it's by the artist Itoi Yuki. Um, I'll also make sure to put all the artist details for both puzzles in the description box below. Um, and also the image that you see on the front of the box and the sides is actually just part of the image. The whole image is on the back and also on a poster on the inside, which you'll get to see in the upcoming unboxing. So uh, yeah, this is a really fun, very whimsical image. It kind of looks like there's these big plates of food like giant plates of food in like a forest clearing something like that and there's it looks like a giant food festival or something <laughs> and there's all these uh little characters both waiters waitresses and all sorts of i guess patrons who are all running around enjoying trying out the different uh dishes and just having a great time uh, there's even a cat and i think a, a cute dog as well and yeah all sorts of fun stuff people jumping on a ketchup bottle yeah and some of the dishes look very tasty. Um, so we've got like a spaghetti bolognese dish, a pizza. We've got uh, delicious pancakes that look like they're fresh out of the oven. Um, what looks like a curry and rice dish, uh, an omelette rice. This one here, it's like ketchup flavored rice under an omelette. Um, I think this one's like a steak hamburger. And there's also a very tasty and very pretty looking strawberry parfait. I think that would be my first choice. Start with dessert first, why not? Uh, but yeah, it's really fun and uh, the illustrations are really great. I just love them, very colorful and yeah, quirky, whimsical. 
Um, so I think this would be a really fun puzzle to put together because as you're putting it together, you would discover more and more little cute little details. So yeah, I think it'd be a really fun one to do. And then the second puzzle is called Girl's Room and it's by the artist Row One. And again, the whole image is on the back. Um, and yeah, it's just a really sweet, pretty cute image. Um, it's basically these two girls, one's sleeping, um, one, and, and that one has like a cat trying to, I guess, play and wake her up. And then the other girl looks like maybe she's studying or watching something on her laptop. And there's just lots of really fun, cute things that maybe you'd find in a girl's room. So like uh, stuffed animals or toys, little handbag, cute mirror and flowers, all sorts of little knickknacks, stationary things, magazines, books. Um, on her desk and on the shelves and stuff and yeah it's just really cute and I love all the bright colors and I kind of like that like me they have colorful hair <laughs> so yeah it's really fun and um, I've decided actually for this video this is the puzzle that I'm going to be putting together I'd love to do both but I only have time for one for this particular video um, so yeah I've just decided to go with this one why not it was kind of a 50 50 really because I really like them both um, so in a sec, I think we will, of course, uh, look at the packaging and unbox this and then look at the pieces. And I'm actually thinking of doing a bit of a piece comparison so we can see how these differ from some of the uh, older Soonest puzzles as well. Let's take a look at the outside packaging first. So all the Soonest PMP puzzles come in this recyclable uh, cardboard box. So the top has the Soonest logo and then let's have a look at the text on the side. So this side has the uh, Soonest website and then here we've got the words uh, reuse, trade, resell, recycle. And then we've got the uh, Soonest website repeated and then we've got a little sort of tagline, beautiful art in pieces. And then if we flip this over to the reverse side, we've got here um, a little barcode and it also tells you the name of the puzzle inside, girl's room, um, because otherwise all the boxes are identical so you don't know until you open it otherwise. Um, so I have previously opened this but normally it does come sealed with this sort of paper tape. We've got a little hand, pointing hand symbol here and you might be able to see it but there's like a little perforated shape here and then the idea is um, when you try to take the puzzle out you can push that and it'll lift the puzzle up a bit to help you get it out of this box. So let's do that in a sec. Um, so yeah, if we go to open this up, there's our lovely puzzle inside and it even has little instructions here for that perforated shape. It says push the bottom to lift up the puzzle box. So let's actually do that. I'm going to push on that little shape and it helps sort of lift up the puzzle and a bit makes it a bit easier to grab out of this box. And then yeah, the box is just plain on the inside. So let's move that out of the way. We don't need that anymore. And then we've got, yeah, our beautiful bright colorful puzzle box. So the image on the front also wraps around the sides, um, but it isn't the whole image, but that is on the back, which we'll see in a, in a second. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice sturdy box, nice square shape, uh, sort of makes it easy to store. It's like not, it's not a huge box. It's kind of a nice medium sized puzzle box, which I quite like. So it fits on a lot of puzzle shelves and things like that and looks great displayed as well. And yeah, it feels nice. It almost feels a bit plasticky and it's actually got a bit of a sort of texture. So if you do this, you can have a bit of fun playing with sort of puzzle box ASMR, I guess. So let's flip this over. Um, okay, so on the back here, we've got the lovely entire image, which is super cute. And I'm really looking forward to putting this one together. It's just so fun and pretty and has a cute cat and oh, cute little animals. Anyway, we'll, we'll definitely be having a look at that uh, closer up when I get to it and we've got the Soonest logo here we've got girls room the name of the puzzle by row one which is the artist and we've got a little puzzle piece and it says copyright Soonest and then 1,000 pieces 49 by 68 centimeters which is a pretty standard size for 1,000 piece puzzles a little logo puzzle piece logo here designed in Canada printed in China a little recyclable or recycling logo printed in soy ink on 100% recycled paper and like a little kind of choking hazard logo warning, choking hazard not suitable for children and a barcode. So yeah, pretty straightforward. So let's open this up and see what's inside. All right. So, oh, that's cool. Um, on the inside is this gorgeous sort of candy pink, which I really love. It's definitely sort of one of my favorite colors, love pinks and purples and things. 
but we have this lovely sort of, I guess, quote by the artist Row One, the artist who did this design. So it says, being a beginner means there is an opportunity for, gro for growth ahead. Though the beginnings seem, seem humble, your future will be prosperous. Spread your wings and fly high. Yeah, I think that's a really nice quote. I like that. So yeah, really sort of, yeah, adds a bit more personality of the artist. Yeah, I really like that. So let's pop that here. And then, okay, so the sides of the box, the puzzle box are white, but they do have a bit of text as well. So on this side, it says beautiful art in pieces and it has the Sundus uh, web address. And then on this side, we've got the artist details, artist row one based in Seoul, Korea, and it has like the Instagram sort of handle. And then we've got, okay, beautiful art in pieces and the Sundus website repeated. And then on this side, we've got the artist details repeated as well. All right, so uh, the pieces come in this sort of paper bag, which uh, you end up tearing open, kind of like a packet of chips actually, which I always think is fun. It has the little Sundus girls face logo. It says pieces of art inside. So yeah, just, so we will be tearing that open shortly to look at the pieces, so that's exciting. So put that aside. And then you actually get a replacement paper bag because I mean I guess you if you're careful you could reuse the one the pieces come in but it does give you an extra bag it has a little puzzle piece logo it says put the puzzle pieces here for storing you can decide to frame the artwork or redo the puzzle many times trade and resell give it a long lifespan do you love the artwork support our artists by sharing this puzzle on social tag hashtag soonest and hashtag the artist name so that's nice to sort of remind you that to sort of share your I guess completed puzzle with people so that's nice and then on this side on the flap is the little girl's face logo and then just blank so it sort of yeah opens up like a little kind of takeaway doggy bag something like that so yeah that will come in handy after we pack the puzzle away later on and then we have a postcard here which is really nice like thick paper stock and it feels very sort of like smooth on top yeah really nice and you can actually use it as a postcard it does have the like place with the address and the stamp and your message um, but you know it's also like really nice quality so you could frame it even or stick it on like a you know pin board or something yeah it's cute I like that little addition sort of quite fun and then we have our poster and then the which we'll look at in a sec the bottom of the box is that beautiful candy pink again and it has the little girl's face logo which I think is really cute yeah I love this pink it's de definitely really gorgeous and then the poster, which also feels really nice. Um, so it's just blank on one side and yeah, have the, have obviously has the full image on the other, but yeah, it's quite a thick and also very smooth, really nice feeling poster. It feels very like sturdy. Like I don't think it's going to get crumpled too easily. Um, unfortunately it's a bit, well, you can kind of see the size, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's not huge. Like it's not a massive poster, but it's, a very yeah adequate size poster so definitely I can see all the details of the image in here quite clearly I think it's going to be a very handy size um, I guess it's sort of about a2 size like half looks about roughly a4 so yeah what is that a2 oh no sorry a3 gosh getting my sizes mixed up so I think a3 size a2 is a lot bigger um, but either way it's um, yeah I think it's a very good size not too overwhelming and not a teeny tiny poster either so yeah so that is going to come in very handy very shortly so I think let's rip open those pieces and have a look at them we've got our bag of pieces here so let's uh, rip this open and get all our pieces out I like to kind of yeah think of this as a bit of a it makes me think of a, a chip packet so which I think is funny uh, yeah, so we've got all our lovely pieces in there. So let's pour those out. Oh, already these are looking a little bit different than my last PNP puzzle, which is interesting. All right, oh, still got... Okay, yeah, all right. I think we've got all our pieces out. So let me ugh, get rid of that. All right, these are looking pretty uh, interesting. A little bit different than last time. So we might even end up comparing pieces from last time. Uh, so we do have a few kind of stuck together, but it looks like they cut all the way through. They just didn't undo. So we've got a bit of that, but that's, that's pretty common. Um, yeah, so they are cut all the way through. They're just still, still hanging on to each other. 
anyway, so there's a few of those to like undo, but that's fine. So this is kind of interesting. Um, all right. Well, they're looking very pretty. I have to say that the colors and the image look really nice. So I guess I'll just grab one of these and we'll take a look. So the back is definitely a little bit different than last time. So hopefully you can see that. Um, so it's actually got like a sort of like a paper backing, like a, a brown paper backing, and it actually has the little pattern of the Sooner Skills face logo on it, which is quite cute. So yeah, that's definitely different than last time. I think last time it was just like a grey board backing. So that's interesting. Um, so like I said, we might actually compare this to the pieces of the previous PMP puzzles in a little while. Um, and then if I look at the thickness, yeah, it's definitely quite, feels quite chunky. So it's definitely a medium to thick or even more thick, actually like it. Um, yeah, it feels pretty nice. So yeah, very nice to handle. It's looking good. Yeah, really nice and thick. And then the top is, ooh, feels so nice. It's very smooth and like almost feels a bit plasticky. And um, let's see. Yeah, it seems completely smooth. It doesn't seem to have like any um, like texture or anything on it. So yeah, it feels very nice. But at the same time, looking at it, it seems quite matte. So there's maybe a teeny bit of sheen. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but it's very, very subtle. Like for the most part, it is quite matte. So yeah, it's quite a, kind of reminds me of Magnolia puzzles a bit where they feel like they should be shiny, but because they're so smooth, but they're very matte actually. So yeah, very kind of a bit similar to that actually. So if you like Magnolia, you're probably gonna like the surface of these as well. Um, so yeah, and then at a glance, looking at these pieces, it is, a, I guess like a classic grid cut. So I guess like, yeah, the piece we just picked up is one with three, three tabs on it. So I'll put that to one side. Let's see, we've got uh, one that has like two tabs. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a single tab piece as well. Uh, oh, we've got um, a variation on the two tabs. So the sort of other type of two tab. And let's see, do we have a four tab or one with zero? Let's see what we can find. We have to go rummaging. Um, oh, yep. Okay, we found uh, one that has four tabs. And let's see, do we have one that doesn't have any tabs? Horribly. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, hang on, did I see one? Okay, I haven't seen one yet, but it doesn't mean there isn't one. There probably is. It might just uh, be a little while before we find it. So probably I'm going to go with. That's my guess, but I haven't yet found one. Um, but apart from that, we have all the other sort of very classic uh, piece shapes. And they look quite interesting. They look quite varied. So let's see if I, uh, I guess I get another one that has a single tab. Where is it? Uh, like these two are both single tab pieces, but they are quite different in shape. They're <laughs> quite varied, so that's a good sign. So, you know, that kind of makes me think that we're going to have uh, a lot, like a smaller chance of getting false fits in this puzzle, maybe even no false fits. Definitely from some of the last PMP puzzles that I did, there weren't any false fits at all. I was very impressed. So definitely have high hopes for this as well. So, yeah, I think... Uh, these are looking really nice and yeah, very nice and thick. So I'm ex definitely excited to puzzle with these. I think it's going to be a really nice experience. It's interesting with the paper on the back. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, I haven't seen any damaged pieces or anything so far. Just like I said, just how some are still sort of haven't like this. They're, they're cut through, but they just for whatever reason are still like kind of clinging together. But that's pretty common. I've seen that in a lot of other puzzles too. So definitely not unique to this one at all. Don't know why that is, but it's really like not a non-issue. Um, oh yeah, and also I haven't really, they don't feel too dusty or anything. I don't know if there's gonna be dust in the bottom of the box. Um, I think from memory as well, the PMP puzzles don't really have much dust at all. I can't really see much dust in the bottom. So again, I'll sort of let you know, uh, I guess partway through puzzling what that's like. 
Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, these are looking pretty good. But what I thought we might do is actually look at one of the more early soonest puzzles, like I think I've got over here Marine Life near me, so I might grab that. We might look at a couple of pieces from that and see how they compare to this. Because I think, um, like last time I did a video on PMP puzzles, a lot of people didn't realize that actually these, the quality of these is quite different than the quality of the original sort of soonest puzzles. I mean, they both are nice quality, but these are like, I guess, extra lux in my opinion. So yeah, I just thought it might be interesting to compare those. So let's take a look. So I've just grabbed a couple pieces from this marine life puzzle that I've been working on recently. Um, and just so we can sort of compare uh, this like older puzzle from Soonest, I guess like kind of from her original life series um, to yeah, one of these new PMP puzzles. Um, and yeah, just let's look at the differences. So let's move this box out of the way. All right, so I've got a couple pieces here from this current PMP puzzle, and I've got a couple here from the uh, Marine Life puzzle. Um, so I can already see some big differences. So let's have a look. Um, so the reverse side, okay, so the as we know, the current uh, PMP puzzle has like that sort of like brown paper backing with like little soonest faces on it. And then the back of the uh, other soonest, the marine life has like just, I guess, gray board kind of thing. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple and nice. Like both uh, seem nice. And then I guess one of the biggest differences is the thickness. So I might hopefully be able to see this, but yeah, the, oh, let's see if I can zoom that in a bit. Um, the Marine life is a lot thinner than the PMP. Like it's probably, let's put them together if I have a look, it might even be half the thickness. Like the PMP is really chunky and this is like, feels quite thin in comparison. I mean, if I don't even, if I take away the PMP, when I just look at the um, marine life, it feels actually more like thin to medium or maybe medium thickness. There's nothing wrong with it at all and it feels quite sturdy and nice. But yeah, compared to the PMP uh, piece, they it is like feels thin in comparison because the PMP piece is so like chunky. So yeah, that's really interesting. And then the tops of the puzzle pieces, the surface is quite different as well. So uh, the PMP is very smooth and almost almost plasticky feeling, like it's got a really nice sort of smooth like plasticky matte kind of. Uh, coating I guess yeah it feels really nice and luxe whereas the top of the marine life piece just feels very uh, paper, like cardboardy nothing wrong with it it feels very smooth maybe a teeny weeny bit of if I look closer yeah a very subtle kind of linen texture but yeah I guess it's a bit like a matte linen finish so it has that sort of cardboardy feel and a very matte so it's nice too but um, yeah, the PMP piece definitely has a very luxurious feel in comparison. So definitely both nice, nothing wrong with it. But yeah, I think this is like uh, even nicer quality and much more uh, fancy and luxurious. So yeah, I think that's the main difference. But um, they're both like grid cut and, you know, they're both nice. There's definitely nothing wrong at all with these, uh, these original soonest pieces like from Marine Life. Um, but yeah, it's just, I guess these new PMP ones are just really, really nice. So yeah. Um, so I think we might do one more comparison and that is with this current PMP puzzle versus one of the last PMP puzzles to come out. So let's take a look at that. Okay. So I've got here one of the, uh, last PMP puzzles. So this one's the Gone Coastal puzzle by the artist Kathy Agar. So I've got a couple pieces from that. So let's compare those to the new uh, PMP puzzle here. So uh, I've got two pieces from the new PMP. I changed up the colors, pink and purple this time. And these two darker gray sort of black ones are from the Gone Coastal, the last sort of set of PMP puzzles. So I can already see some differences, but let's have a closer look. So as we know, the recent PMP has the paper backing, but the previous PMP has just sort of the simple, nice uh, gray board or brown board um, backing. Uh, yeah, so 
already we have that difference. But one difference I definitely noticed is actually the thickness, surprisingly. Um, so I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but the new piece is actually a fair bit thicker than the old one. Like if I just look at the old one, take away the new PMP, it feels quite like nice medium to thick thickness and feels pretty sturdy. And I thought it felt quite luxe um, in my, like the last time doing these ones. So definitely nothing wrong with it, very nice. But yeah, then when I bring the uh, new PMP, it's yeah, quite, maybe not double the thickness, but pretty chunky. Like the new one is definitely like, thick and chunky and yeah very very nice to handle so it kind of actually reminds me of like some of the more recent that's my cat sneezing if you can hear that um some of the more recent minty fizz puzzles where the pieces are very like nice and chunky kind of makes me think of that a little bit so yeah very uh, both are very nice to handle but yeah that's sort of an unexpected surprise but i'm excited to try them out and then even the surface is a bit different so uh, the surface of the new ones are very smooth and feel, feels like it should be shiny, but it's not. And actually, I thought it didn't have any texture, but I realized it has the most subtle, uh, like, like that sort of matte linen finish texture or like the little cross hatch kind of texture, but it's so subtle. Like I can't even feel it. Like it feels smooth. It actually, like I said, makes me think of Magnolia puzzles. If you've done any of those, you'd enjoy the surface of these. Um, whereas the previous PMP puzzle, you can see the... It has a very subtle cross hatch sort of matte linen finish texture as well, but it, it's quite subtle, but you can subtly feel it like, but it, for the most part, it still feels very smooth, um, but it's even smoother in the new ones. Um, but both are also quite fairly matte, um, but and fairly smooth. Although I'd say the new one is even more matte than the old one. So yeah, very, some very exciting changes. And I mean, I really liked the old one anyway. I thought it felt very luxurious and really high quality. Um, but yeah, the new one feels, I guess, even more luxe if that's possible. So I'm very excited to puzzle with the new one. Um, I, yeah, I, I am a little bit, uh, I guess, wary of the paper backing because I'm not a huge fan of paper backing. So that's gonna be interesting to see what that's like. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for the thickness and the surface. And also, interestingly, the old PMP had this very kind of curvy, bubbly look to the pieces, whereas the new one doesn't quite have that. So yeah, another little interesting difference. So now that I've waffled on long enough about uh, pieces, uh, let's quickly grab this poster here and have a quick look at how I might put this together. So obviously the picture does go the other way, but I'm probably actually gonna be working on it this way because that's you know, easier for me with my puzzle board. Um, there's lots of like really fun, colorful details. And because of that, I think it might be pretty easy to do the border first, because it should be, uh, yeah, pretty easy to tell where pieces go. And then apart from that, I think I'm just gonna sort of pick out like section, like patterns or colors that kind of just stand out to me. Like obviously this cat, this purple cat stands out quite well. And even in the box here, I can easily see purple pieces, they actually stand out quite well from a lot of the other pieces. Um, but yeah, I guess I might pick other colors like maybe this girl's blue hair and her blue overalls or something and, or even like the yellow Pikachu kind of character. Like, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna sort of play it by ear and uh, see what sort of sections of the puzzle jump out at me and maybe work on those. So yeah, nothing too um, out there in like in strategy. But yeah, just keep it simple and see how I go. So without further ado, let's get into some puzzling.
So I just thought I'd pop in here to show you my progress and give you a bit of an update on how things are going. As you can see, I've made a, I guess, a reasonable amount of progress. There's still some big gaps. And as you can see, there's a lot of puzzle chaos. I've been sort of, well, it's organized chaos. I've been putting pieces together that are like similar colors. And yeah, I have my own little system going on here. I, I know what's happening, even if it does look a bit uh, chaotic. Um, but yeah, I really love how it's turning out. I just, I mean, I was always attracted to the bright colors and the really just pretty details and the cat, so cute. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying it and I really love like, there's so many details, like uh, even like the texture of like her hair and this like blue hair here. Um, the cat's again, so cute. But yeah, just like, you know, all the little like details on her desk, like the bowl of fruit and the fun little stationary items and a computer and like the stuffed toys. Yeah, there's just so much going on and I think it just makes for a really fun image. Um, that being said though, it actually has taken me quite a bit of time to get to this point. Um, so it actually took me about three hours and 45 minutes and um, I, yeah, I feel like that's, you know, a little bit time consuming. But that being said, I'm not really, I'm not here to speed puzzle. I'm just here to have fun and relax and I've definitely been enjoying it, um, even if it's been a little bit slow going. And I think part of that is like, obviously I spent a bit of time at the beginning, uh, you know, sorting pieces and flipping everything over. And as you can see, I've still got like large sections of green and, um, you know, I had a big section of blue as well and things like that. Um, but I think what's one thing that's made it a little bit challenging is the art style. So if we like kind of zoom in a bit, you can see it's very like hand drawn and yeah, so yeah, very like not painterly, but yeah, just definitely kind of hand drawn like with pencil or crayon, that sort of thing. And so I find that like whenever I do a image that is like painted or hand drawn, um, I find it a bit more challenging. Like even though the image looks quite clear and you can see what it is quite distinctly when it's together, we move over here and we look at like, even if we pick up this piece, for example, or even the one next to it, when we look at that, it's quite abstract and, you know, it can be quite hard to tell what, what it is. So, and like that one too. So yeah, I always find like the individual pieces can be quite difficult to tell what they are and where they go. So that's why I just did a whole bunch of sorting by color. I mean, this one's a bit more clear. I can tell like, uh, it's like a, a love heart. So if we look at the poster over here, you can still see it's probably like from her little pillow up there. So some things have been a bit more distinct um, and especially like the purple cat that really stood out and even like the, even the blue hair though, like it looks like it stands out, but when you have individual pieces, it's sometimes hard to tell that from like some of these or even this. Um, yeah, so I think that's the main reason why it's been maybe a little bit more challenging. Um, but uh, in terms of my uh, ex puzzling experience with like the quality of the pieces, uh, yeah, they've been really nice. Oh, let's grab this like nice and like chunky and really nice to touch and handle. Um, I haven't had too many issues with the paper. Like maybe you can sort of see it's like oh, sometimes I found a few little bent bits. Um, but not nothing like really too bad with the paper. So the paper's actually been pretty good. Although I did find a couple of little damaged pieces, which I've sort of put over here. So I found this one here. So as you can see, it's a little bit bent, but it's not really because of the paper. It's just, I think just gotten squished during manufacturing or packing or even me sorting or something. And that's pretty common amongst lots of puzzles, even brand new ones. So I'm not too worried about that. It's sort of a pretty normal kind of piece damage and I don't think it's really gonna affect the end look. And what else? Oh yeah, I had this one too. So this one, you can sort of see the layers are kind of splitting on that little tab there. And again, I don't think that's specifically because there's paper. I don't think it necessarily has anything to do with that. I think the layers, like that tab's just gotten caught um, on something and just kind of come up, like the layers have come apart a bit. And that's a pretty common thing with like damaged pieces in puzzles too. I don't think it's gonna be, is unique to this particular puzzle. I've seen it in lots of other puzzles. And actually something I noticed that happened is sometimes when I was sorting or even when I rummaged through the pieces in the boxes, some pieces 
that like a tab will get stuck in another tab even if it doesn't belong usually like upside down or something and I'll have to gently pry them apart so something like this could have happened even when I was trying to pry them apart but yeah apart from that I haven't really I think they've been the only two uh, like they're probably the worst ones but even that they're not too too bad and you could kind of glue the layers back together if you really wanted but I think once it's all assembled you probably won't even notice so I'm not really bothered by that um, but yeah the piece fits being really good um, they fit very comfortably together so you can like yeah they, they fit nicely together uh, let me swap hands even like you can pick up pretty big sections like this and move them around so yeah I've been pretty quite impressed with that um, yeah it makes puzzling a lot easier and definitely means you can do a puzzle pickup challenge if you want to um, so yeah I've been enjoying having the pieces stay together nicely I guess the only thing is I don't know if you can yeah they, they're not super tight together but they're firm enough together that you'd probably like to try and get these apart if I'm taking this apart I will probably use two hands and just be a bit gentle just so I can avoid like that splitting like I feel like that could potentially happen if you're not careful when taking this apart so yeah just something to note I guess and then yeah the surface of the puzzle as you can probably tell is very matte so it's very smooth feels very nice to run my hands over it so I'm looking forward to doing the uh, the puzzle rub when I'm done and yeah it's very smooth but it's really matte so I've actually got an extra light as well as the light above and you can probably tell if I looking around there's not really any sheen or glare so that's been very impressive and fantastic it means puzzling has been a lot easier I can see all the colors and the details very easily so very happy with that and I guess the only other thing to mention is puzzle dust you can maybe see there's a few very fine specks but it's virtually non-existent oh it's like maybe a little bit but it's it's very minimal and I don't think it's an issue at all um, but I'm just you know letting you know um, but yeah apart from that I don't think there's much else to mention yeah just having a great time not too bothered by the small issues that I've come across I don't think they're you know too bad and that's pretty normal for a lot of puzzles even brand new puzzles um, it happens so um, yeah I'm pretty excited to get on with this and do some more puzzling so yeah I think without further delay let's get into puzzling
I finished the puzzle and I really love how it's turned out. It's super cute and just such a really pretty colorful image. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun to put together. Uh, it was a little bit challenging though, which I did talk about earlier. So the first session took three hours and 45 minutes and the second session actually ended up being a bit quicker and took only two hours and 25 minutes. So all up, including all the sorting and everything, it took six hours and 10 minutes to put this together. So not too bad. Um, I wasn't that worried about the time though, because I was just uh, more focused on having fun and putting this together, which I did. And then in terms of the quality, uh, yeah, I pretty much agree with everything I said earlier as well. Um, I think the only thing I forgot to mention earlier was that there wasn't a single false fit. And yeah, and even after finishing it, yeah, I didn't find any false fits at all, which is quite impressive and makes me very happy. Uh, but yeah, the fit's really nice. Everything fits together well. You can definitely do the puzzle pickup challenge if you wanted. Um, I think even though the fit's not super tight, I would still probably just use kind of still need two hands to take the pieces apart, but they come apart fairly easily. So that's good. Um, and then as I'm rubbing the puzzle, these, I can feel how nice the surface, surface is. Ugh, a bit tongue tied there. Uh, yeah, it's really nice and smooth and yeah, it just feels really nice to the touch. Um, but at the same time, it's really matte. So I don't know what this magic is, but I am very impressed by it. Uh, so yeah, I really like that combo. Smooth, but no sheen or glare. So fantastic. And then the other thing, uh, yeah, there's barely any puzzle dust. I think there's like maybe a few little specks, but it definitely wasn't an issue at all. So I think for most people, it wouldn't be an issue either. Um, and I guess the only real cons I had were that I found a couple of damaged pieces, which uh, we had a look at earlier. I haven't found any more since then, so that's good. Um, I'm not too bothered by that because, you know, that's fairly common even in other new puzzles to come across the occasional bent or slightly damaged piece. It's sad, of course, but it does happen and, you know, it's not unusual. Um, so yeah, not too bothered by that. I guess the only thing of concern was that one of the pieces, the damage was that the layers of the puzzle piece had sort of separated a bit. Um, so it does make me think that maybe when you go to undo the puzzle, you might want to be a bit more gentle or something like that. Or I feel like I would need to be a bit more gentle just so I don't damage any other tabs. Um, I don't know if it's likely to happen, but I just feel like I would want to keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, surprisingly, the thing I was worried about, which was the paper backing, didn't seem to really be a problem at all and was in really nice condition. And yeah, there was no tearing or really bending of that paper. So yeah, really happy with that. Uh, yeah, so overall I had a really good experience, really love the quality and of course absolutely love the artwork um, and would totally recommend uh, any of the PMP puzzles. So speaking of which, don't forget to check out the upcoming event at the end of this month uh, from the sneak peek that's been on the Sooners Instagram account. The artworks look very interesting and very colorful and fun. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what they're going to be. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of this puzzle design and also let me know what you think of the PMP concept. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love and for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore GB where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.